Bhagavan Ramana was giving darshan to the devotees. When a devotee looked at the Lord and asked him whether he was calling this mountain Shiva, which is not convincing. The Lord said to the devotee, if you want to go to some town, you are going to ask somebody, how to go there. Only after having faith in the one with whom you are inquiring and continue the journey and reach the right place. Then only we realize that we have come to right place. Similarly, the spiritual journey is also like that, and if this mountain seems to me to be Shiva, it is not enough for you to have the desire to know the same, but you must begin the journey for it, and at the end of it, you will attain the truth, just as I have attained this bliss. So many sages in our country have left this path for us. Many sages have performed penance here about this theory of Anamali and the greatness of this hill and have attained the knowledge of this mountain and have attained the experience of God by treating this mountain as Shiva. Do you know how such sages describe the greatness of this mountain? The Lord, who appeared to Brahma and Vishnu as a pillar of fire, without finding the beginning and the end, became cool, embodied his form and became Aranakala, Tiruvannamalai. To die in Kasi, Mukthi. To be born in Tiruvrur, Mukthi. Tiruvannamalai is the place of salvation if one thinks of. But it is not possible for everyone to die in Kasi. It is not our business to be born in Tiruvrur. But it is easy for everyone to think of Thiruvanamalai at least once. Do you know what the Almighty Lord Shiva has to say about this Thiruvanamalai? Just as the moon receives light from the sun, the L on earth. The Lathalas are also illuminated by this Thiruvanamalai. Thiruvanamalai is the abode of Amkaram. To remind the devotees that I have taken the form of a flood of light, I will appear as a lamp on the top of the hill on the day of Karthagai. If you remember this Thiruvanamalai, I will give salvation.